Read me a story, tell me a tale of fairies that sparkle and galleons that sail, princes and dragons, castles set high, tall magic beanstalks, and witches that fly. Read me a story, an old one. Hi everyone, welcome to Tell Me A Story. The story today is called The Magic Cooking Pot. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Molly, and she lived with her mother in a rundown cottage in the edge of a large forest. They were very, very poor, and every day Molly would go into the forest to look for berries or mushrooms so that they may have something to eat. One day, when Molly was wandering in the forest, foraging for food, she came across a little old lady who was having difficulty walking. She too was looking for something for her dinner. Molly took pity on the old lady and gave her what berries and fruit she'd already collected that day. Molly said, take everything I've collected so that you have something to eat tonight. I can always find some more. The old lady thanked her and told Molly that she knew life was hard for her and her mother. So because of her kindness, she wanted to give her a gift. All of a sudden, from nowhere it seemed, a small black cooking pot appeared on the ground in front of her. The old lady told Molly to take the cooking pot home, and when she got home, to put it on the fire. Molly thanked her, but said that she rarely had enough to put in a cooking pot. The old lady replied that when she or her mother felt hungry, just to say, cook, little pot, and it will make the most wonderful soup. When you've had enough, just say, stop, little pot, and it will obey. Molly thanked the old lady again and raced home to her mother with the little black cooking pot. She placed it on the fire and said, <clears throat> cook, little pot, and to her surprise, it made the most wonderful tomato soup. Molly and her mum had two bowls each. Now the little pot made a different soup every day. So Molly and her mum never went hungry again. But one day at lunchtime, when Molly was at school, her mum decided that she was feeling a bit hungry and asked the magic cooking pot to make her some soup. She said, cook, little pot. The pot made her the most wonderful vegetable soup. When she wanted to stop the pot making more soup, she asked the pot to stop, but it just kept going. Molly's mum couldn't remember the exact words she was to say to stop it. She tried everything she could think of. She said, uh, cease pot, and uh, that's enough pot. Uh, she even tried, no more pot, I've had my fill pot but nothing seemed to stop the magic cooking pot making more and more soup. Soon the pot started to overflow and spill onto the floor. It very soon covered the entire floor of the house and then spilled out of the house and down the hill towards the town. <gasps> Molly's mum didn't know what to do, she, so she ran and ran down the hill and then she ran some more to get Molly, who was still at school. The cooking pot just kept on making more and more vegetable soup. And soon it was running down the main street of the town like a river. Many of the townsfolk collected the delicious soup in pots and jugs. But soon the soup was up to their waists. Something had to be done to stop the magic cooking pot. It was then that Molly met the river of soup as she was coming home from school. She knew exactly what had happened. Molly ran home as fast as she could and called out to the pot, Stop, little pot! As soon as the little pot heard the magic words, it stopped making the vegetable soup. Eventually, the river of soup ran all the way to the sea. The townsfolk, the animals, and finally the fishes had a feast that day. But from that day on, 
Molly took control of the little magic cooking pot and made sure nobody ever went hungry. <laughs> well, I wonder how the townsfolk got the soup out of their houses. Well, that was the magic cooking pot. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Read me a story, an old one or new. Read me a story. A story from you. Yay! Did you enjoy that? Well, if you did, click the subscribe button and then you'll never miss anything from Cheeky Chips TV again. <laughs>